People living with HIV and AIDS have urged the government to fast track the release of antiretroviral, that is ARV drugs, to comprehensive care centers, CCCs, throughout the country. This comes after the government agreed to pay the tax levied to release the consignment held in the port of Mombasa. Welcome here. People living with HIV and AIDS have urged the government to speed up supply of antiretroviral drugs to comprehensive care centers. Their call follows a standoff between the government and the American donor agency USAID over tax which had placed their lives at stake following fears of a shortage of the life-saving drugs. The dispute saw drugs for people living with HIV and AIDS worth 2.1 billion shillings held at the port of Mombasa after USAID opted not to go through cancer who would have received the consignment tax-free. The drugs have since been released but not before the Ministry of Health parted with 145 million in tax revenues. Sarah Mudoni from Nakuru who has lived with HIV for 23 years revealed that a number of CCCs were struggling to supply medication to a growing pool of patients. I personally am on third line. The third line drugs are what you are seeing here. We call this DTG. That is what people in line one are taking. One tablet. We call this uh, Rotinavil and Darunavil. When I was put on third line, I was taking five tablets in the morning and five in the evening. But the other two, because of taxes, were not available. They had to change my drug to, to give me this one. It's a combination of three. But I thank God it has suppressed the virus to undetectable levels up to now. She described the standoff between the government and USAID as a death sentence to victims, adding that it was jeopardizing the gains made in the last two decades.